Yes, I am back. Mm-hmm. I'm back and I'm black and I don't know how to act. Me go and do my thing. Go and do my thing. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Tits and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello. I love you already. Make sure you select that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit. It's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my song Do My Thing is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, all the music things. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today. And also check out the merch at shop.iamallyfits.com so you can be like looking stylish, cute, amazing, all of the, all of the words. But now that that self promo is out of the way, I know. It has been forever, but I am here and I am back with some episode. Where did we leave off? I don't know. Yeah, I had no idea when Rod was gonna come back next, but I knew what I was gonna do today. Today's plan, let's go about the apartment to find out everything I could about the place. Oh, it's a different theme this time. Yeah, I'm hungry. Come on then. Okay, all right, you trust me? There's food in the kitchen. Jump out the window. Oh, <laughs> there's some pizza. A box is empty, so he must have already eaten. Had he brought the pizza here with him when he came? Or did he order pizza delivery? Hmm, I wonder if there are knives in the drawer. Oh yeah, let's get me a knife, cause we might. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> look through the second drawer. Oh snap, there are only paper napkins, damn it. What are you doing? Just looking for a plate. A plate for pizza. Yeah, fancy, aren't you? You're right, guess I don't need one. I can eat standing here in the kitchen, or I could take some pizza and go eat on the sofa. It might be a good idea to try to be on friendly terms with my babysitter. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go eat in the living room and mess with this man. I should definitely eat in the living room. Oh, there she goes. This is awkward. Oh my God, he don't even care. What are you watching? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Ah, really? I'm Leah. I know. Are, are you gonna be uh, living here? Ooh. No, girly. Girly, I'm just your babysitter for the day. Rod must have them watching me in shifts. As I chewed slowly, I glanced discreetly around the room. We got a cactus, some flowers. There was no phone anywhere in sight, of course. I glanced at the door. Make a one for you. It was sure to be locked. I looked outside the windows, sky and other high rises. I didn't recognize any of the buildings. We were high up. Even if the windows could be open, I wouldn't be able to escape that way anyway. Not unless I could fly. With a jolt, I realized that the goon had stopped watching the TV. And he was watching me instead. As if he could read my thoughts, he laughed sourly. Thinking of flying, little bird? What the F? Now his minions are calling me that as well? Hold up, you don't get to talk to me like that, buddy. Don't call me that. Wow, this little bird has a temper. Asshole. Oh, I mustn't let him get to me. Look, if I'm gonna be seeing you every day, at least tell me your name. It's Daniel. And if you don't mind, I'm watching the show here. Oh, okay, well, I'll leave you to it then. That was as much interaction as I could take for the day. I tried not to cry as I fled hurriedly back to my room. Where's my man? After a few seconds, I heard the sound of a lock. I had been locked in again. Wow. I hid in the room for the rest of the day, thinking frantically. There had to be a way to find out where I was. Girl, until my stomach was grumbling and I had to venture out once again for something to eat. Let's see if it's still Daniel or some other goon. Time to ring the bell for room service again. Girl. Room service nice though. So, oh, <clears throat> bars. Oh, it's the first one again. What? Um, is there anything to eat? Yeah, in the kitchen. Dang, why they gotta be so rude? Like, I'm just asking for some food. <sighs> oh yeah, baby, like that, yeah. Is he watching? Hey, you're blocking the TV, get out of the way. Oh, OMG, oh. Seriously? What, you don't watch porn? <gasps> yeah, okay, I'm definitely not gonna join him in the living room. Fast food again, not 20 chicken McNuggets. Are they gonna feed 
feeding me fast food for the next three years? T. This gives me an idea. But for now, I'm gonna grab this and eat in my room. What am I, what's my idea? I wanna know. Thankfully, Rod didn't come back that day. Hopefully, he wouldn't be back until I had a chance to carry out steps one and two of my plan. The next morning, uh-oh. What? Yeah? Is there breakfast? Come on. Why are they so mean? In the kitchen. Watch it be fast food. Dunkin' Donuts, what is it? Bagels, not bad. Okay. It's the bagel for me. It's the same outfit she been wearing for three days for me. <clears throat> hey, Daniel. What? Do you think you could maybe have something nice for lunch? What do you want? How about sushi? Or Chinese? You think this is a Ritz Carlton girlie? Oh, I mean, you could just order a delivery. I'm sure your boss gives you as much food allowance as we need, right? He looked at me suspiciously. Just thought you'd be sick of pizza too. We'll see. Ooh, cool. Okay, come on step one and two. 12 o'clock. What did you say you wanted, Chinese? Yes. Go back in your room. Oh, not her getting excited. Yes, Chinese! <laughs> I'll come get you when the food is here. Thanks. There was a click as Daniel locked the door behind me again. And then nothing left but more waiting. Food's here. Is she gonna look at the receipt? Like the delivery receipt? She's smart. I love Chinese food. You don't care. Yeah, it ain't bad. Daniel put on the TV again and we ate in silence. Oh. Now I want Chinese food. After eating, I stayed in the living room and watched Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Daniel. He seemed to really like watching game shows. I'm gonna to choose to ask the audience, Dave. I was starting to need to go pee, but I had to wait it out. What are we waiting for? Finally, after another hour and an episode of Supermarket Madness, he suddenly got up and shuffled towards the toilet. Oh. I had maybe 30 seconds before he finished peeing and came back. There was a slip of paper in the delivery bag as I had hoped. I grabbed it quickly. Yup, I knew. Panda Garden, I'm screaming. Panda Express? Oh. <clears throat> and just like that, I found out the address where I was being held captive. 1200 Rivers Place, Suite 106, The Bronx. The toilet flushed. I quickly put the receipt back in the delivery bag and settled into my previous position making sure to fix the same bored expression on my face as he came shuffling back. Uh-oh. Did he notice? No. Do you mind if I change the channel? You're not gonna put on some chick flick, are you? How about police car chases? Oh, yeah, okay. Period. Cops. I knew where I was. Now, I just needed to find a way to get that info to see. Wait for me, Renee. I'm coming back. Aw, trigger warning. This chapter contains a scene relating to, whoa. Hey y'all, trigger warning. Sometime in the night, I woke up suddenly. Disoriented, it took a while for me to finally realize the reason why I had suddenly jolted awake. I was not alone in my room. Oh, ew, jeez. What the F are you doing here? Do you have any idea how creepy this is? No need to get all worked up. You seem to have forgotten that this is my apartment and this is my room. I can drop by anytime I want. What do you want? I have some presents for you. Presents, books, DVDs, the latest e-box. Okay. Tell him you don't need his presents or thank him. I'm gonna need something here. Um, thank you? No problem. As I woke up more fully, I started to become even more wary. What time is it? Only a little after midnight. Do you always go to bed this early? It was true that I had frequently felt tired recently since becoming pregnant, but I wasn't about to share that with him. I might stay up later if there was actually anything to do. Well, you'll have more things to do with your time now. Yes, the books, DVDs, and game console. How considerate you are. I suppose I should be grateful to have such a kind jailer. Oh, it's strange. What? Your cheek. It was annoying at first. But now I find it's rather starting to grow on me. Ew, I froze. I didn't dare to speak. It's quite a turn on even. Get away. <gasps> Before I knew what was happening, he was suddenly on top of me, pinning me to the bed, kissing me hard. Mm. Nah, I'm a knee him in the groin. You got me messed up. Oh, uh. oh. Is he about to kill me? Did you have to kick me that hard? <gasps> Get out. Get out. 
Oh, snap. Soon, little bird. Soon you'll be begging for me. That? You wish. You wish. You piece of trash. Oh, I'm so mad at him. Several days passed. I was watched day and night by Rod's men. Luckily, Rod himself didn't drop by for another visit. I started to be on friendly terms with Daniel, but the other goon, Jesse, remained sullen and hostile despite my best attempts. I'm not getting tired. He seems particularly tired today. Um, maybe he can fall asleep and we can leave. Oh, <clears throat> yup. Aaliyah got the right idea. She's smart. Oh, snap. Hey, Daniel, have you been up all night? Just playing poker with the boys. An all night poker game. Did you win a lot of money? Yeah, I did actually. That's great. You'll be able to take dinner out somewhere nice tonight. Yeah. I'm taking her for a nice steak tonight at this really fancy place. That'll shut her up for once. Oh, you both deserve it. Not me knowing about his girl. Oh, Crazy Housewives. I love this show. Mind if I watch with you? Yeah, whatever. You're talking to a woman who gave herself salmonella to lose 10 pounds before prom. Oh, I cannot tell you how relieved I am that you weren't convicted. Seriously, you have any idea how living across the street from a murderer can affect housing prices? <gasps> what? That show sounds interesting. <clears throat> He's asleep. It was exactly as I hoped. He had fallen asleep. And I knew for a fact that he kept his mobile phone in his jean left pocket. Now, for the hard part. To get it out of his pocket without waking him up. Minigame. Get Daniel's phone out of his pocket without waking him up. Uh-oh. Tap on the arrow to slide your hand further to his pocket. Okay. <gasps> and tap on the pause button to hold your breath and freeze. Okay, got it. Be careful. Move too fast and you risk waking him. Okay. I have two minutes to do it. Let's go. Ready? Go. Tap on the left arrow to reach his pocket. Go. Tap. Tap. <gasps> Pause. You wait a while. He resumes snoring. Okay, go. I got his phone. Now I just need to pull it out gently. Okay, tap. Tap. <gasps> he twitches. You wait a while. He's snoring again. Tap. Tap. I got it. Yes. Oh my God, go, go. My heart pounding in my chest. I hurried as quickly and as silently as I could to the bathroom attached to my room and quietly shut the bathroom door behind me. My fingers were trembling, my hands sweaty as I tapped the home button. Uh-oh. His phone was locked, of course. And of course, I had absolutely no idea what the passcode could be. As I stared at the lock screen, I felt like screaming. All this for nothing, idiot girl. Suddenly, I realized. It didn't matter. I tapped on emergency, period. And then dialed 911. 911, what's your emergency? Please pass this message to C of the CIA. Tell her my name is Aaliyah Greenwood. Ooh. And I'm being held by Rod at 1200 Rivers Place, Suite 106, The Bronx. I'm being watched around the clock by his men. Rod himself isn't here, but he visits sometimes. Do not call back this number. It's my captor's mobile. Got it? Yes, ma'am. And just like that. Is he awake? Okay. Whew. Just like that, we just called the cops. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Period. I think I aged about five years from stress there. Oof. My racing heartbeat started to slow down as I settled back onto the sofa and continued watching TV. And he's waking up. Hey Daniel, what should we get for lunch? Oh. Sushi? Yes, let's go. I had done it. I had managed to find out where I was and get that information to see. The FBI would be able to arrest him as soon as he showed his face again, period. Get up, bitch. Uh, uh! Get in the effing car and shut up. What the heck? Sit up and don't move, dumb bitch. Uh, Amy, keep your gun on her while I drive. Piss off, Jesse. I know how to do my job. Thought you were so smart, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you calling the cops, bitch. The entire apartment is under video surveillance, idiot. <gasps> well, shit. Of course Rod would have done that. There was nothing that I could have done without him finding out. But who was this new goon? And where was Daniel? Wondering what happened to Daniel? There was no way Boss was gonna let him go unpunished over such a slip up. <gasps> boss had to get rid of him. Oh my gosh, permanently. His death is all your fault, bitch. Daniel die because of me? That's horrible. I know he was helping to hold me captive, but I didn't want him to die for it. 
Daniel was harmless. Stupid, but harmless. Shut up back there. I'm trying to drive. I stared out of the window as Jesse drove us through the city. They hadn't bothered to blindfold me or put their sack over my head. They didn't care that I knew where I was going, which meant that I was probably on a one-way trip. It was then that I realized that wherever they were bringing me would be where I would be killed. Where was the CIA? Oh my gosh. Haven't we already been down the street just now? We're going around in circles. What the heck? Jesse was checking his rear view mirror repeatedly. He was making sure that we weren't being followed. Uh oh. Could the feds really be trailing us? I felt a surge of hope. After all, C must have gotten my meshes by now and dispatch agents to have the apartment on surveillance, right? They would have noticed us leaving. All clear, there's no tail. <gasps> oh snap, I'm finna die. Oh, we're here, get out of the car. Oh, they brought me to what looked like an abandoned factory. I suppose shooting me in the apartment would have been hell to clean up. You really effed up this time. You had it good, a nice place. We brought you food every day. You didn't have to work or lift a finger or do anything. I was being held captive. Shut up. <gasps> Boss was too nice with you. He didn't even let us have some fun with you. I would have broken you for sure. Ew. Now stay there and don't move. Otherwise, Amy here is gonna put a bullet in your head. <gasps> just give me a reason to, cause I'd love to. So why don't you just go and shoot me now and get it over with? Oh, we'd love to, but Boss isn't done with you yet. What? What could he possibly still want from me? And he put his hair back up. <laughs> I felt a frisson of fear as Broad suddenly entered. Why hadn't he had me killed yet? Why would he take the huge risk of coming here? He didn't come alone. A pale and sweating, visibly nervous man followed behind him. The guy studiously avoided meeting my eyes. Jesse, get up. Ooh. Get over there. Dang. Have a seat. I'm scared. Huh? <sighs> Deep breaths, guys. Who was that? What's he doing? Miss Greenwood, if you could please sign here. What, are you a lawyer? What is this? A contract to will over the entirety of my trust fund to rod upon my death? I looked back at Rod. He was smiling, but the smile hadn't reached his eyes. His eyes were cold, furious. In a sudden burst of understanding, I realized his intentions. I was too much of a liability ever since I had managed to call the police. He was finished with taking risks. He was gonna to try to get a hold of my trust fund. He may or may not succeed. One thing was for sure, he was gonna get rid of me once and for all. As soon as I signed it, I was dead. Sign it, and then Jesse will take you back to the apartment. I thought you said a contract like this couldn't be legally executed. You didn't leave me with much choice but to try. How much did he pay you to draw up and execute this document? How much did it take to buy your soul? Shut up and sign it. Sign the will refuse, no. You're just gonna shoot me as soon as I sign it. Sign the effing thing. Oh, or I shoot you in the head right now. <gasps> Dang. Well, looks like I signed it. Dang. Well, at least that's taken care of. <gasps> Jeez, at least wait till I'm gone. Oh. Oh. It's the feds. <gasps> Not shooting the girl. Oh, he died too. The feds came just in time. Don't shoot, I'm willing to testify. <gasps> Come any closer and I'll kill her. Oh, warning, I only have 10 seconds. Hold up, hold up. Um, I'm gonna use my technique. Boom. <gasps> you, you little bitch. Oh, freeze. On your knees and hands behind your head now. Got him. And I use my technique. Mm. I'm that girl. Sorry, I'm excited. Oh my God, I cannot believe we did that. We took his gun from him and he's arrested. He's super mad. Put a cape on and call him super mad. I, I gotta make sure he never finds me again because if he does, it's over for me. But anyways, if you enjoy this video and want more episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, make sure you check out my vlog because y'all like to do this thing where you only watch one type of my videos. I promise you, I'm giving you content and it's good content. So watch my vlog and then I'll give you more episodes. That's how it goes. And make sure to check out my music and get you some merch at shop.iamallyfits.com. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.